All right, so now I wanna start looking into Reborn Storage. That's an add-on for refined storage, which adds in the AE1 crafting mechanic, which I liked quite a bit. So to start off though, it's, it's still kind of hard to get started with because there's so many components. So we're gonna start out by getting some things for refined storage and using those to build our first parts of Reborn Storage. So let's work on that first. So step one, I want to get a pattern grid. So a pattern grid needs a grid, a pattern, and an advanced processor. So let's get a grid, which uh, we have everything except what? These machine casings. So let's see what we need. We need some quartz enriched iron. So let's go ahead and grab a stack of that and throw it in there. And then we're gonna need at least one of these guys. So let's toss that in there. And now we should be able to make a grid. There we go. And we are now out of improved processors, I think. That's okay, we'll make more. So now we need a pattern grid, which requires a pattern, which we don't have. So let's get a pattern first. All right, there we go, one pattern. And now we can make the pattern grid. And what this guy is gonna do is he's going to allow us to manage our patterns. He'll be able to create them. And um, well, that's, that's kind of it, really. So we're gonna work on that first. So now that we've got that guy, we're going to need lots more patterns. So we can make one right now because we have no glass. So let's go get some glass. I don't have very much glass. We can dump at least a stack of sand. All right. Let's make maybe a few more patterns. What do we have in here? Okay. We'll start with eight patterns. Put those in here for now. So... The first thing we're gonna have it make are these crafting frames. So crafting frames require this guy. So we're gonna need uh, machine casings, basic processors, and silicon. Um, none of these things needs to be ore dictionary. The only silicon we get in this version, in this pack, is the refined storage silicon. So that takes care of that. We will need to know how to make machine casings. So we'll get the recipe for that. And there we go, stone with quartz enriched iron. So we need to know how to make quartz enriched iron. So there we go, it's four iron and a piece of quartz. And that ought to be good for that guy. So we're going to need to make a crafter, of course, because that will help us auto craft a little bit in the beginning. So let's get one of those as well. So there we go. A crafter requires all of those things. So, you know what? I probably didn't need, well, I'll leave it for now. But we need to build one manually first. So what are we missing to make you? You? Okay. There we go. Our first refined storage crafter. Okay. So, let's stick you down there for now. And we will put in the patterns we have so far. And we will go back to work. So what else do we need? We were going to make... Um, let's look at only our craftables. So we can make crafting frames now. Or maybe we can. We'll see. So if I told you to make 10 crafting frames, could you? No. You don't have enough stone. You don't have any basic processors. So first we're going to get basic processors. So let's make a pattern for that. We'll get a pattern for the raw basic processor. And we'll put it into our crafter. And I will say I want some raw basic processors. Let's say, I don't know, 16. Okay. I have the binding, I have the silicon, I have the redstone. We can start making that. So, uh, crafters, you know, they're a little bit slow. There are ways to speed them up, but we're not quite there yet. But we'll start off with 16, and we will keep going with what we need. So let's go back in here into, not the pulverizer, into that machine. And let's see, we got the glass. So there's... We'll get 10 of these and we'll move on for now. Oh, if we add stone, we can get 12. Well, let's put some stone in the system. 
Okay, try that again. Crafting frames. Yeah, I can make those. Alright, so what I'd like to get now is a crafting monitor. A crafting monitor will tell us what the crafters are doing at any pick your time. So let's see how that might work out. A crafting monitor. We're going to need... Okay, that looks all pretty standard. Do we have all those things? We need an improved processor. So let's get one of those raw improved processors. So we'll tell the grid how to make those guys. We'll put that in the crafter and we'll say I want some raw processors. So let's just get eight of these guys for now. Oh, can't do it. Don't have any processor binding. So I'll teach you how to make those too. So where's our binding? Okay. Let's make a pattern of that guy. Now this time I do want to or dictionary this guy because he can use any kind of slime ball. So let's turn on or dictionary and add that pattern. And now we can make binding. Or we could have any slime balls, which we don't. So let's look into that in a minute. So can we make bindings? I know we can't because we don't have any slime balls. So we can get slime balls from Batania with cactus. So let's go ahead and get some slime balls and then we'll come back and keep working on this. All right, can we get, there we go, 32 slime balls, perfect. Uh, that's not the way I want to go, I want to go in here. Okay, so if I dump you in there, can I get raw processors? Say, eight. Yes, it's going to craft these guys and it's going to craft um, whatever else it needs. So there we go, it's going to do that. And once I have some of those guys, I can turn them into advanced processors by cooking them up. And once I have that, I keep trying to put things in the pulverizer. All right, there we go. We'll get those guys and the rest of the basics in here. Okay, so now I want to make a crafting monitor. So now, what else am I missing? I'm missing some of these patterns. So, do we have a pattern for patterns? No, we don't. We really ought to have one because we make we're going to make those all the time. All right, a pattern requires this guy, and that's the last of our patterns. So <laughs> definitely a good time to make that. So let's see if we can make two patterns. Yeah, we can. So we'll go ahead and get that. And then the last thing is that machine casing. So let's tell it to make one of those guys. And now can we make the U? Yeah, there we go, a crafting monitor. Perfect. So let's put him over here. And now I'll be able to know what is being crafted whenever I'm working on this. So, dump this back in the system, get rid of that guy and that guy and that guy, and we want more crafting frames. But we're gonna need another crafter too, we're running out of space in this one. So let's get us another crafter. And we don't have destruction cores or construction cores. So let's teach it how to make those too. Any patterns? Nope, let's make Eight more of those guys if we can. You're not in JEI synchronized mode. There we go. Okay. Want to make you? And I want to make you. So, is there a way to make a crafter now? Yeah, we can make a crafter now. So we can watch what it's doing. There we go, it's pretty much done. So we've got another crafter we have now. So let's add this to the system too. And we'll put that guy back in there. Okay, so keep working on this stuff. So we need a crafting storage. 
So I meant to add that back to the list. So all we have in here as far as patterns go are crafting frames. So let's tell it how to make heat conductors too and everything else we need from here. So we need the recipe for this guy. So there we go, that looks good. And then crafting CPUs. There we go, that looks good. But it will need to know how to make crafting tables. So let's look into that. And this can be or dictionary because it can use any kind of wood planks. And now I think we should be good. Crafting storage is going to require these 1K storage parts. So we need to know how to make those. So that's how we make those. And we'll put all of those guys in here. And now we want to make heat connectors. I'd like to make 10 of them if I can. I think that's how many I need. Might be 12. I'm not sure if I'm thinking about it right, but let's see what we can make. Okay, we don't have enough of these basic processors. We've got six, we need 14 more. So let's get 14 of those raw processors. I'll probably just go ahead and get 16. There we go. And I'll junk these into the redstone furnace. All right, there we go. More basic processors. So, I'll try it again. Um, heat connectors, I want to try to get 10. So, basically, you're watching what he's doing. He's making quartz enriched iron, he's storing up stone, he's crafting connectors, he's crafting, uh, you know, crafting frames, make all this stuff. This would be quite difficult to do by hand. I have done it, and you can do it, but it just takes a long time to get there. So it's a much nicer process when you can do auto crafting. And once we speed it up, you know, it won't sit here. You won't have to sit here watching all the time. So, but trust me, even just sitting here watching this is much easier than building it. I love auto crafting. There we go. There's our heat storage. So actually, what we should probably do is maybe draw out the system I want to make. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this underground in the basement right under this, this room right here. So I think I'll go ahead and dig out another room down there like I did for the power place over here. And that's where we'll put that. We'll get another elevator or two. So let me go work on digging out the basement and I'll be back once that's complete. All right, not quite done with the basement yet, but I thought I'd show off a couple of things. Number one, I found my Yetta wrench. For some reason, JEI highlighting does not highlight it, even though it's right there. I don't know what's up with that, but must be a bug. And also, I don't know if I ever showed building the elevator in the last one, so let's go ahead and show making that one real quick. So we need a couple of open blocks elevators. Gonna make those guys. It's just wool strutting ender pearl. Ender pearl. So string, I don't know that much string, do I? So we're gonna need to get some more string real quick. Grab another stack from out here real quick. Let's see here. Um, there we go, that should be what? 16 more wool. All right, let's try the elevator again. One, okay. I need four pieces of wool. Two, three, four. There we go. Another couple elevators. So I'm gonna put my first one right here. And the other one will go down there in the floor somewhere. Hopefully, can now go up and down. All right, so all I've done so far is dig out the basement. I'll be back once it's done. All right, so here's the dugout basement room. 
Not sure quite how I like it right now because there's no symmetry, but I don't know. It's fine for now. Here's the outline of the multi-block crafter I'm going to build. So yes, I think we do need 10 of these heat connectors. So one's going to go here, a couple of them will be here, one there, and then on the backs and up here too. All of this dirt is going to be crafting frames. And then what we need is to get um, a CPU and a storage. So if I put my dank null real quick into here, my backpack, I can dig up the dirt and I'll know how many crafting frames I need to have. All right, that's almost all of them. So what is that, 24 then? Yeah, 24. So if I get 24 of these crafting frames, then we can work on the rest of that. So let's see what it would take to build those. So I probably can't get 24 crafting frames yet. But let's see, we've got two of these. So I need 22 more. So I would need, uh, <laughs> like I said, we would need tons of iron for this project. So we're going to need uh, 14 more of those guys too. So let's get, let's start working on those. And I'll hook those up and then I'm going to go mining and get some more iron. And then we'll keep working on this. So yeah, just, you need tons of iron for this project. Okay, so I'll be back once I have more iron. All right, pretty productive mining trip. I haven't found a mine shaft. Didn't go exploring in it yet, but uh, I might go do that later. Mine shafts are always kind of fun. Haven't seen one in a long time either, so that's always good. So, uh, got at least a couple hundred iron I'm working on right now, so we'll get some more stuff there. So, I want to get uh, 22 more of these guys. So, yep, now it's possible. So, let's see what happens here. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's see here. I've got 24 of those guys, which is what I needed. So now I want to get one of these guys, which I don't have any glass for. I don't have any processors either. So I'm going to need some of those. So raw processors. Let's get, let's say, eight of those guys. And let's teach it how to make the other kind of raw processor, the advanced ones. So let's make that into a pattern. And we'll put that away as well. And we'll say to make eight more of him too. Oh, we don't have enough silicon for that. Let's do two or three then, and then we'll get some more. And we need to take some sand, put half of that into the furnace and half of it into the smeltery. So what are you doing? You're a pulverizer. I don't care. Sag mill's doing this. Well, work on this instead, buddy. Work on that later. Okay, yeah. Tons of coal, tons of gold, tons of diamonds. Alright, let's, let's speed you up a little bit. Yeah, I need, I need some glass, like, right now. I don't want to wait for it. I just kill your power. That's fine. Just give me what I asked for. There we go. So, okay. So let's see if... Oh, this says not... No, I'm not done, am I? Now, can we build some of those crafting CPU guys? Nope, don't have a chest. Put those in the pattern grid and teach you how to make chests. Or dictionary for the wood type and put that in the crafter. Now can you make crafting CPUs? Yeah, it looks good. And what about the crafting storage? Is that what I just made? Yeah, I already made a storage. I'm, I want a CPU. Need two of these speed upgrades. Alright, well how do you make those? Okay, you're going to need a, a regular upgrade. Okay, let's try it again. 
crafting CPU. Okay, so a crafting CPU, my frames, and these guys. All right, I'm going to take all these patterns with me now because we don't need them in these credits anymore. We need them down here. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Man, don't you hate it when YouTubers beg for likes and subscriptions? So lame. I mean, it would only take two seconds, but I get it. You don't have that kind of time. See you next time.